Hello friends, this is Mufaddal here and in this project, I'll take you through on how to design this part, this machine part using Fusion 360 in the model workspace. So let's get started. So the first thing you are going to do is make the circular element of the part. I'll just go ahead and make the circle. Dimension it to be 66 dia. And then I'm going to extrude it to a length of 22 mm. The next step is to make the arm which connects the arm right here, this one, this portion of the part. So for that I need to sketch the center of the cylinder. And I need to sketch a profile somewhat like this. horizontal need to extend it inside the cylindrical part the bottom line horizontal also and I need to dimension the width of the arm I want it to be 10 mm at the bottom and 12 mm at the top and I want these two lines, this and this line to be parallel to each other. And also I need to constrain the top point to a length of 90 mm. That's it. This semi-constrained sketch should be sufficient for now. Let's go out of the sketch. Now I'll be uh, extruding this profile using the symmetry extrude option and length of extrude I am going to uh, the operation will be joined it will not be cut it will be joined so extruding it to a length of 26 either side that makes the basic shape of one half of the uh, part one half the other half can be made by just mirroring this portion. Before that, we need to add the features of the fillet and all. So, fillet, fillet 20 mm at the back. Wedges 3 mm and at the bottom that should be 10 mm. So my one half is ready, and now I need to use the mirror option. Select this body, select the mirror plane as this plane. And now I have I, can, I have mirrored this object by that plane. I'm making two different bodies. Now the next step is to join these two bodies into one. So go to combine. Go to target body. Select the first body. Go to tool body. Select the second body, and press uh, select join and press OK. So now I have joined both the bodies into one single body. And only thing remaining is the fillet over here, the sharp uh, V kind of shape. So make it smooth, maybe around 12 mm. And one more fillet at the cylindrical feature over here. 3 mm should do it. And to complete it, we'll be giving a hole through and through hole which is concentric to the cylindrical feature. So the whole size will be 40 and extrude cut through and through, that's it. So now we have the machine part similar to the part 
which we had referred that's the uh, our design in fusion 360 hope you learn something out of it thank you